morning church welcome to our daily devotion insight i want to share with you today continue on choices today number 17 uh, devotion is will you choose to forgive will you choose to forgive you know i want to read you a long passage of scripture very quickly follow me matthew 18 verses 21 to 33 or 35 says this then peter came to jesus and asked lord how many times Shall I forgive my brother or my sister who, who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. As he began the settlement, a man who owed him ten thousand bags of gold was brought to him. Since he was not able to pay, the master ordered that he and his wife and his children and all that he had to be sold to repay the debt. All this the servant, at this the servant fell on his knees before him. Be patient with me, he begged, and I will pay you back everything. The servant's master took pity on him and cancelled the debt and let him go. But when the servant went out and he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred silver coins, he grabbed him and began to choke him. Pay back what you owe me, he demanded. His fellow servant fell to his knees and begged him. Be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he went off and had the man thrown into prison until he could pay the debt. When the other servants saw what had happened, they were outraged and went and told their master everything that had happened. Then the master called the servant in. You wicked servant, he, he said, I cancel all the debt of yours because you begged me. Shouldn't you have more mercy on your fellow servant just as I had on you? In anger, his master handed him over to the jailers to be tortured until he could pay back all his he owed he owe to the master. And this is how my heavenly father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother and sister for your from your heart. You know this is interesting, you know. Look at verse 33. Shouldn't you have had mercy on your fellow servant just as I had on you? Shouldn't you? Shouldn't you? Just as much as we want God to forgive us, we want people to forgive us, shouldn't we forgive those who hurt us? You know, words, hard words can go deep into our spirit, even our heart and our spirit. Action of offender can change you and I from a gentle to a very angry person. The lying and deceitful left you and I devastated and financial disabled by friends whom we trusted. And the abuse can leave you and I feeling less and also at the same time very much alone. What they did seems unforgivable. I know I've been there. It is not easy. If we forgive them, the Bible say, you know, it is required by the Lord. It is a command but the problem is this in our mind sometimes we say if we were to forgive them it somehow seems like we are condoning their behavior it goes against our sense of justice to let them get by with their deplorable action and behavior so therefore what we do we lash out we attack we slander we maliciously spread things bad about them talk about them and I've learned in life, forgiveness isn't about the other person. It's about me and my heart. Forgiveness, one more time. Forgiveness isn't about the other person. It's about me and my heart. When I can't let go and forgive the offense that hurt the things that someone said to me, it eats away at who I am. One more time. It eats away when I don't forgive. It eats away at who I am. It twists me up with strong roots 
that eventually turned me into a very bitter person because the root of bitterness will grow in you and in me. And everything that person said, everything the person does, we always find fault. We always point a finger. We always judge. We always accuse. We always criticize. Why? Because there's a root of bitterness within us. Remove that. Unforgiveness keeps us from growing, from learning, from living in the freedom of who God wants us to be. Are you living in freedom? If you are, why are you angry with the person when you see the person? Why are you hitting the person? Why are you going against the person? Why are you saying things bad about the person? It's been said that having unforgiveness for another is like drinking poison and expecting that person to die. One more time. It has been said that having unforgiveness for, an, for another is like drinking poison and expecting that person to die. Do you know what? Unforgiveness actually kills us from inside out. We are being poisoned by ourselves. Unforgiveness actually kills us from inside out. Our hearts are blackened with the sin of keeping score, of wanting vindication, of hoping that the other person can experience just a little of what we have left. We lash out. We give it to them. And everything we do, everything we think, everything we say, every attitude that we show, every action that we review from our lives shows that we have unforgiveness for who we are because of unable, unwilling to forgive. God knows the prison that unforgiveness will create in our heart, our hearts and our mind. You know, the Bible tells us this, the story we read just now in uh, Matthew 18, 21 to 35. You know, a servant owed his master a huge, huge debt. His master caught him and asked him to, uh, told his servant to bring him in and asked him to pay. If he cannot pay, he, he his, his wife, his children, and all that he has will be sold to repay the debt. But the servant begged the master. The master forgave him and gave him time. But the servant, immediately after that, went out from the master's presence uh, and saw someone who owed him just a small amount. And you know what? He choked him and took him and put him in prison. You know what? That very much reveal who we are. We hold grudge. We hold unforgiveness. But many a time when we did something wrong, we say, God, will you forgive me? Don't you think that is very unfair sometimes in life? Think about that. You know, God knows the prison that unforgiveness will create in our hearts and our mind. It's an unholy place He cannot inhabit. He even says that if we can't, listen here for a while, in Matthew chapter 6, verses 14 to 15, Matthew chapter 6, verses 14 to 16, God even says that if we can't forgive others, He can't forgive us. Wow. Think about that. Wow. That's a scary thought. We can't forgive others, God will not forgive us also. Can you imagine that? Can you ever, have you ever thought of that? Forgiveness is letting people off the hook. It's, it, 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 is, it is not an easy choice. It, it, doesn't, uh, it does not mean forgetting. Uh, it, it doesn't mean uh, 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 we wipe it off. It, but it simply means releasing and allowing God to deal with them in His way, in His time. He promises He will do. So do we trust Him? You know, in time to come, we ask God, God, forgive me, forgive me. You know, and it is it's very important. Learn to forgive. And as time goes, and as God heals us of our hurt, forget what has done to us. You know why? Because if we don't forgive, forgive and forget, in time to come, it will imprison us again and again and again and again. Amen? So, is your choice and my choice. Choose to forgive because you are forgiven by God. One more time. Choose to forgive because you are forgiven by God. 
again and again and again. Every time when we come before him, we say, God, please forgive us. Amen? So live your life in freedom. What should you do? Choose to forgive. Amen? Because unforgiveness imprisons you and imprison me. Amen? Let's pray. Father, we pray that you help us to learn to choose to forgive no matter who have sinned against us, wrong us, speak things that hurt us, do things that rob us and, uh, and, and disappoint us in life. Father, because you have forgiven us of great debts and also every time when we have wronged and sinned and done something wrong, that we come to you, you forgive us when we confess. Lord, we pray that just as you are big-hearted, teach us to learn to be big-hearted to forgive and release people from our life and set ourselves free from the prison of bitterness and unforgiveness. Bless our day as we commit ourselves to you Bless each of us in our lives. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. God bless you. Choose to forgive. And God will bless you. Amen.